Hi, welcome back to this Alkalinx B system. We've uh, we started tweaking our system, as you can see. Another theme, Numix theme, and some Numix icons, and everything looks just awesome. But what if you want something else? Then you go Google and you say, give me the best plasma themes and maybe 2018 behind it as well, something like that, something similar, right? Best plasma themes. And then you start um, maybe a tip as well, a tool up here, anytime past year. So you don't get old stuff, but you get uh, the most recent recent videos maybe. Why not? If you have the time, watch some videos. And as you can see, some of these links are already purple. This means I visited already these uh, links. So if you Google your way around and you say, oh, look at this. Eric is using Numix, so that's what this is. Uh, so this is in this particular article, it's number one. In the other articles, it's number four or something like that. So you get an idea of how things might look, may look, and if you like it, you can download it. This particular one I've installed, made transparency. So I've been uh, having some fun with uh, um, well themes and tried a few of them but in the end i did not uh, install them finally i mean eh, for forever to keeps but there are other things as well here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you there are other ways to actually get to um to theme your system and that's just following the, this link here kda store so maybe it's a good thing you know that there is something called store.kdde.org. I have a lot of things up here, cursors, decorators, emoticons, lots of stuff is in here. And one of the things I thought I'd try out and see if it's, um, if you like it as well, let's see if I can still find it. So the RKDE is the one we have. <coughs> Let's see, it was something with transparency, I believe. All right, helium, I think it was called, which I would like to try out. And it was useful because I could explain a lot of things because of it. Because installing icons in Plasma is not that, that obvious. So this one, I think this is the one I said, oh, I wanna, wanna try that one out. And where is it? Helium, ah, it was helium. Helium is a radical de departure from most, etc. Okay, so you read and you click on the link. And where do we get? If we go to, we go to KDE, the store. So this video is about making, finding your way around Plasma, installing stuff and um, figuring out how it works. So we have a translucent theme for Plasma 5. That's important for us to know that it's for Plasma 5, not an old KD4, anything like that. There's a wallpaper. If you see the wallpaper there, you like the wallpaper, fine. PayPal account, the license, fix the error. Love this theme, great job. So you read all about it. And the thing that's why it's interesting for me is that I can explain as well how to install icons because it's not that um, easy. Well, if to know something, that's always the case, right? Knowledge is power. So Helium, Plasma Themes, and we can download it here, Helium Tar GZ. If we click on it, we get the start download. We download the thing, and in the end, you have it, but it was already there since I tried it out. So this is my download for today. So I'm not gonna uh, unpack this one. Extract here. And then the question always, hey, what should I do? What should I do with this kind of strange thing? Well, sometimes they give you some help, but I guess that's not here, maybe online. Maybe, maybe. I guess not here as well. Change logs maybe. What it did everybody likes it favorite so you can always take a look at the score 
So I guess I guess that's what I did as well. If go to plasma themes, then go to top, and then you see the highest scores to the top, and then you go down here, and helium was there as well. I think that's how I got there. Anyway, we need to figure out where it is, and it does not say. We need to get rid of it from downloads, and we need to cut it and put it somewhere else. In home, control H, local, share, and then Plasma desktop team. That's where it needs to go. So you see already that the art dark is there and the new mix. So the thing, the look we are having here has a folder and you could change some of these elements and colors, but that's not the goal here. The goal is to have helium on our system. So that's it. Let's have a look. Can we activate helium workspace? This is not a well a package kind of thing so it's not in the look and the feel it will be in the desktop theme remember the folder you put it in desktop theme and look and feel right look and feel desktop theme it makes sense so it's in here so you should find it in here here is helium apply it let's get rid of everything and this is now our helium look which is kind of nice I think it's one of the items of the themes that can uh, be kept. We have a small reading issue on my clock here, but it's okay. We have our clock down there. So that's one of the things you can do is install a theme, plasma themes here. And lots of other things to do. Don't have enough time to do all those, but you know where it is now. You know the KDE store and you have to figure out again and again where should I put some uh, all these elements and basically that's it but most of the people tell you where to put it so we have to look around so for somebody or google it so you know where where to put all the files now this uh, helium is actually making some advertising is, a, is not a good word but it's using a different kind of icons right so these kind of icons so how do you get those icons there? Well, there's the link onto icons, onto icons I might be. So this is what we have, and it's great on a Manjaro I see up here. And this could be your system. If you like it, you, well, download the icons. But where to put the icons? That's always the problem. And here it does say it. So here we have help for us noobs, where do I put my icons? In home, local, share icons. And that's different. We have 11 desktops already on Arco Linux. That's the one that differs. Plasma differs from the 10 other desktops. So, local, share icons. First, download it. I think I had it already. Yeah, I did. So, let's go and delete the one I just downloaded and unpack the one that I had already. So we have onto icons. There's a very strange icon. Don't worry about it. So cut here and then home, local, share, icons. Put it in here, control V. So the onto icons is now in here, the folder. And the only thing we need to do is activate it. So system settings like so then go to the icons it's an a so it's all at the top apply wait for it you know the drill it might mean that the icons are not completely 100 percent onto icon so you need to log off log out but most of them seem to be correct in here and um, that is nice as well so there you go we have now a completely different kind of look and uh, only thing maybe <laughs> if you don't like the horror is an, an alternate wallpaper right so alt n variety kicks in and we choose a nicer wallpaper for backend and that's it so we have now a new theme new icons new wallpaper and well this latte is following more or less 
as well the theme here, the color of the themes from your desktop. So there you go, have some fun exploring the world. The world is big, there are lots of elements in here. And if you go and have a look at these, uh, now we're basically at opendesktop.org, so you may have not noticed, but this was KDE, and when we clicked on the link from the icons, we're actually at somewhere else, but okay. So KDE, here's where you should be when you're working on Plasma. All right. Have fun tweaking your system.